welcome to today's vlog. I thought I would just spend the day together today. I have got, I don't know if you could tell actually from the quality of the video, but I bought myself a new vlogging camera, especially for you guys because my other camera was basically on its last legs and it was making filming really stressful. So it was just making me like not want to film and not want to vlog, which is why I've been so absent on YouTube. So at the beginning of the year, Rick said, right, buy yourself a new camera. He organized it all for me. So you have Rick to thank for all the vlogs that are gonna come up in the next few weeks and months. So I'm gonna be back vlogging again. I've got myself a better setup and uh, yeah, it makes me want to film more. I have quite a few bits of like parcels and packaging and things like that to open. And then I'm just gonna like prep dinner, get sorted and need to go and take Albie for a haircut and um, basically just like mum life for the afternoon. <laughs> Make myself a coffee and then let's open this parcel together. <laughs> First, I did have a delivery that came earlier this morning um, that I thought we could kind of like try on together. It's from a brand called Miss 60. They are such a throwback for me. I used to absolutely love Miss 60 when I was like a teenager and in my 20s. And so I'm so excited that they're like coming back round. They're like a really good, high quality Italian denim women's wear brand. So I ordered some pieces from them and I thought we could try them on together. So let me go and grab them. I picked up two pairs of jeans and an amazing jacket. So I'm really excited to try them on and see how they are. What I really love is they are now using like this amazing technology in all of their denim, which means that their denim is much more of a sustainable product. They've got like advanced technology in their dye and it basically means that your jeans will stay the same color. Even if you're just using your normal washing machine, the colour will stay and your jeans will last for so, so long, so many years. I'm always there for a product that is going to be sustainable and be a really key item and sit in my capsule wardrobe for years. So I picked out two styles. I went for this ultra black pair because I wanted a really nice pair of black denim jeans. I don't seem to have any at the minute that I absolutely love. And then I also went for this gorgeous like vintage wash. They're both with like a boot cut kind of wide leg at the bottom, but then super like flattering and high waisted on the top. So I'm really excited to try them. And I also got this leather jacket, which is another like cropped round collarless jacket, which is the second one of these I've bought this year. It is a massive trend at the minute, these gorgeous like cropped little jackets. So this is the first pair. They are this super, high-waisted, super black, really good quality jean with a wide leg. Fit on these are so good. The length on them was amazing. They fit so nice. They were a really nice fit like around the waist and on the bum. And I absolutely love the wide legs. So perfect for going into spring. And I feel like these I'm gonna be able to wear loads with like all black outfits. These are a gorgeous, gorgeous black jean. I just felt super comfy in these ones. These are just the perfect blue wash kind of jean. I love the little Miss 60 details to the pockets and the waistband. And again, like the denim, they felt so comfy to wear, like really held me in, really flattering. And then I really like the like boot cut as well. They're so different to what I have already got in my wardrobe. So again, really love these two. These are like perfect jeans for every day, just to wear with trainers, little body suits. And then this leather jacket that I got, I just love this. There is something so like chic and classy about this style of jacket. Looks so good with jeans, just like a really simple jeans, bodysuit, trainers outfit. And then a jacket like this just dresses it up. I'd wear this for like going shopping or something like that. Just like shopping and lunch. What if you're nice? or like a bit of a lunch meeting or something. But I love all the detailing, all the detailing on the buttons, the fit, everything. It's just so chic, such a cute little jacket. I'll link them in the description box for you below so you can shop them if you want to. And Miss 60 have also given me a discount code as well. So I'll put that in there too. I am so happy that Miss 60 have come back around and they're their fit and quality on these jeans are so, so good. So definitely go and check them out again. I've put a link to their website in the description box. So I was gonna do a little catch up yesterday after I did the unboxing and then, 
and then it all went to part I've, the kids came home from school and it all just went out the window so I thought this morning while I just have a little bit of time I'm just getting myself ready um I thought we could do a little catch up and let you just fill you in on everywhere everything that's going to be going on because we are only in well we are now in the beginning of February and there is so much that has happened so to start January off I had my 12 month scan so I had to go to the hospital and have an MRI um, to find out if I was still cancer free. So I had that on the 5th of January and I was, I was so nervous, like really, really nervous. And I didn't get my results for two whole weeks. So for that whole two week period, I was so stressed out. I thought that um, the longer it went on, the longer I felt that I was going to get bad news um, so I waited two weeks and then finally got the call from Christie's to say that um, there was no signs of disease and I'm still cancer free so I'm super happy about that. So I feel like I'm now finally in a place where I feel like I almost want to start doing a little bit of um, more about my cancer journey, raising money for places like Joe's Cervical Cancer Trust and just like spreading a little bit more awareness and trying to kind of encourage people to go and get their smears, which I mean, I have done and I did share a lot of my journey, but I still feel like I was quite guarded in that sense. And I think I was like wanting to almost protect myself I couldn't like cope with everything that was going on with my cancer treatment and then also deal with the crap that comes from being online and now I feel like now I've had that all clear I finally feel ready to do something good and actually some good come from everything that has happened. I mean, I have spoke about like the importance of getting your smear tests and and there's so many girls that have messaged me and said they've had their smears after seeing what I went through and girls that have messaged me and said that um, there were like cell changes that were picked up and they wouldn't have gone for the smear unless they'd seen my posts. So it helps like it actually really really helps to hear those stories it makes me feel like at least something good has happened from everything that I went through so I'm just gonna do more of that so that was like the beginning of the year and then the week after that literally the week that I found out that I did have the all clear I also went and got my breast implants removed which I just kind of been thinking about for a long time after my cancer treatment I just didn't want them in my body and I kind of got to the point where I was like I don't like my body with them in so there is no good happening from this and I didn't like the idea of having implants in my body and not be able to and like that causing me to maybe like miss a lump in future or something like that and I was just I just wanted them gone and I put it off for a long time because I thought it was going to be like a big thing and actually it was so simple. I was in like hardly any pain. I'd say I was out of action for maybe like a day, like 24 hours. I had to have hard, I didn't have hardly any pain relief when I got home, maybe like paracetamol for a few days. That was it. I didn't have to take any of the cocodamol. I just wasn't in any pain. Um, and now I'm so happy like my boobs they don't even feel that bad like they're a little bit saggy and I might have a lift at six months but I'm just not sure yet but just in general I just feel so much better for having them done and having them taken out I did want to like vlog or show about it on here but um I haven't but I have I did do like a vlog on my TikTok and also on my Instagram so you can see on there like the 24 hours when I went for my surgery so that was a big thing and then on top of that this month this last month just gone like there's been so many like changes going on and we also decided we're going to move house so we have a move date now and 
yeah, we've decided to move house and it's been something that we've wanted to do for so long. And we didn't, we kind of felt like we shouldn't move because the kids are quite settled. Um, but I just think it got to the point where we just, we just want to move. There's an area that we want to live. We're not over the moon, like happy with where we're living now. And the kids were, we kind of like, just thought, let's go and have a look. Let's go and see what we think. Let's see what the kids think. And they were so up for it. And so we kind of did that thing, you know, when you're like making a big decision and you think, well, let's go and like take the next step and see what happens rather than being like, right, we're doing this huge big thing. And that's what we did. We were just like, well, let's go and just look at the area. And then it was like, well, let's just go and have a look at this house. And then before you know it, like everyone was up for it, all the kids are up for it and it's happening and um, I'm a little bit scared but also it's going to be so good for us, like I just know it's the right move for us all. So yeah, so that is going to be happening now in the next month or so and I'm so excited for it like I feel like it's just a fresh start for us all and I feel like it's what we need I feel like we need that fresh start and I just think in general like as a family we're gonna be so much happier the area that we're moving to is gorgeous and it's really nice because where we are at the moment we're really remote like you have to drive like an hour, like just under an hour to get anywhere, to go like to the cinema or shopping or just to get to like a city. Um, Cause we are just in the middle of nowhere. Um, you have to drive like an hour to get to like a motorway and where we're moving to is still really like rural, but it has just much better links. So like we can like, we're like 20 minutes outside a city, we're like 10 minutes on the train into the city centre and nearer to the motorway. So it's all just so exciting and yeah, it's great. It's going to be a fresh start, it's going to be a big change for everybody but I think it's going to work out for the best. And then on top of that, this week we've launched the Effie brand which has been such a long time in the making and in the process. Like, we started this project almost a year ago. It's taken so long to like get everything right and get all the pieces right. Um, it's basically like all just stuff I live in every day. So like hoodies, sweatshirts, joggers, leggings, like tip up gym tops, all the essentials that I wear in my wardrobe all the time. But what we really wanted to make it like the best quality and it to be really sustainable and I'm so happy with how it has ended up. So all like the sweatshirts, like these ones, are 100% cotton, sustainable, like the quality on them is just so amazing and they're things that will literally sit in your wardrobe for years. So you know sometimes like you buy you know, like your basics, like your sweatshirts and hoodies and leggings, but they just don't last. We wanted to make things that were like the nicest fits, like the, everything that I look for in like sweatshirts and hoodies, you know, like really nice thick quality and the way they hang and like the oversized sleeves and, you know, like the good quality cuffs and things like that and big hoods on the hoodies. But it was just so important as well that they washed well, that they lasted and that the whole process was sustainable we're not holding like a huge stock every piece that you buy is literally to manufactured and made to order which means there's no overkill on like holding a load of stock wasting a lot of stock and it's just really exciting and i think it's a really nice way to do it so every time you buy a piece it's literally going to be like made and delivered to you as you order so it's all made to order so it just means it's really good for the environment and the fact that it will last you years again it's just so good for the environment like I just was 100% like do not want to do any kind of fast fashion so 
I'm really excited for you all to try it. They've kind of gone on pre-order at the moment, but that's only because we just wanted to give ourselves a few extra days just to make sure that the whole process worked as smoothly as we wanted it to. So pre-orders are being made and shipped out now. We've just given ourselves that little bit of extra time. So yeah, I'm going to do like, if you if you guys want me to, I'll do like a whole try on haul of the whole range so that you can see everything, like how it fits and the real like quality and detail on it all. And obviously it's named after my daughter, Effie. So um, yeah, I'll put the link in the description box so you can check out the website and have a little look. Yeah, that is like what's been happening in January and it is so like, so many like life changing things have happened, you know, like... I've got that 12 month old Cleoma cancer. I've got rid of my breast implants. We've started and launched a brand. We've decided we're moving house. Like, if that is what is happening in January, I'm excited for what is gonna come for the whole year. Yeah, I just wanted to do like this bit of a catch up video before we get back into like vlogging a lot more because I just feel like so much has happened. And I think I've been always like guarded a little bit the last few months and, and the last year as well, I think. Social media can be like quite a hard place to be and although I'm so lucky I don't get a lot of hate or any like real negative horrible messages or anything like that, it can still be quite hard like mentally and it's quite draining and I think getting through the last year, not even just getting through having cancer but getting through the aftermath of cancer and kind of finding myself again and then dealing with like the menopause that my cancer treatment caused it's just been a really hard time and I I mean I've worked on myself so much <laughs> I've put so much time and effort into self-care and looking after myself and I've been having therapy and it's all been helping and I think getting that 12 months all clear was almost like the last thing that I just needed to tick off to kind of be like okay like this is like it's kind of over and even though it's always going to be in the back of my head I think just to get through that year after cancer felt like okay like I can relax a little bit now it's done I'm 12 months all clear if it was going to come back it probably would have come back then and let's just kind of put it in the past and I think that's why I've almost not been very present on social media I mean I know I've I've still been putting out my fashion stuff because that feels like it's not really it's not really personal to me, whereas I think vlogging can be very personal and you have to kind of be quite vulnerable and I've just not felt like I could be vulnerable on the internet because I felt like I just couldn't cope with that negativity that is out there on the internet on top of everything else that I've been going through, whereas now I feel like, right, I can come back, I can kind of open myself up a little bit and be vulnerable and share things with you guys again. So I thought, let's just do this little catch up little life update video and then we can go back to vlogging and I can go back to sharing a lot more with you. So I hope that makes sense. So yeah, hopefully the next video um, will be more of a vlog and I'll bring you along with, with me. Um, just general life and everything that's ha been happening and everything that's gonna happen over the next few months of moving and everything. And I've missed you all and I hope you're all okay and yeah, but this was just a little life update and we'll catch up again soon.